We had a smooth start here at Garden Springs and we're so excited to welcome our kindergarten through second grade students back. Uh, they had big smiles on their faces behind their mask, air high fives, air hugs, but we are just so glad to get them back here. Can't wait till our third through fifth grade get back. So we have all of our students back at Garden Springs. I can check your work because you know, you know even Miss Hutchin makes mistakes. An eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. The students were equally as excited as the teachers. I think it was, because um, you know, here we feel like we're all family and it sort of felt like a family reunion this morning to see everybody come in and, and you know, sometimes on the first day of school, especially with our kindergarten students, we have some tears and guys, we had no tears today. It was just full of excitement and uh, the kids just felt so at home and because they had already built such a strong relationship with their teacher, it was just so exciting for them to get in and be part of their classroom community. We have honestly been planning for this day since August, we really have. Um, and throughout the year, different, um, we've had to tweak some things because of the CDC regulations. Uh, we've had to make some changes, but we feel like we were so prepared for today. And this morning with the kids arrival, we felt like it went so smooth. Even before you wash your hands, we are from the Chargers. Students have done a great job adjusting being back to in-person learning. We couldn't tell that they had been out of school for almost a full year. After that first day, you know, it was just a part of their normal routine. Now they're used to finding those six foot circles on the floor, walking in the hallway. So they've done a phenomenal job adjusting to being back in person. Anything you need has to be ready to go by the time that Ms. Moe stands up and starts, okay? All right, it has to be ready to go. Um, we had our morning meeting this morning, the first one with kindergarten through fifth grade. And we had some of our virtual students that were posting in the comments that I'm um, doing on Zoom that they couldn't wait to be back or they wanted to be back in person, but it just feels like real school to have children back in the room. This has been sort of a homecoming, sort of, so to speak, just having our kids back, and, it, and it's a sense of normalcy. And so it, I know it's really uh, rejuvenated our staff, and it's given a boost of energy just having the kids in the building. To ensure safety, um, we have all kinds of measures that we've taken. Our students are six feet apart when they're walking in the hallways. As the students enter the building, they have their temperature check. Everywhere our students transition, they have a line order and they have their seating order. Custodial staff deep cleans the restrooms and cleans the knobs on water fountains and things of that nature. So we have a lot of systems in place to really make sure that we offer the safest environment as possible, but also that we can continue great instruction as we've always done. Learning. I'm amazed at how well the children have adjusted to the return to campus. The parents have done an amazing job reminding students that they have to wear their masks and, and wash their hands. And I think that has really helped make the transition easier. As the kids have been answering questions in their classroom, we remember why we are teaching and why we've dedicated our lives to this profession and it makes you realize how much you love the kids and how much you love your job. We'll have a talkie party very soon. And then we'll have chocolate. Good job. We can't say cameras on anymore because there's no cameras. You all are here. 
So we were pretty ready um, before we had the lost week due to weather, um, but we did open the building up a little this weekend and came in for a few hours this weekend to make some preparations, just last minute things, put some final touches, make it special for everybody. And we sent out videos, we filmed our staff um, in the building with the changes that have happened because they are very used to the routines and structures here, but things have changed a little due to COVID. So we sent out videos, um, they're watching videos this week as well. So we try to front load as much as possible so they knew what to expect before they even came. We feel like we've built good relationships virtually as best as we can, but to have the kids in person, actually talking, interacting, the feeling that you get when the kids are so excited about something, um, that's just something you can't describe. So it's been an awesome time to be in the classroom to see that. Today is our first day of math over the years, different sediment has settled over. Number eight. Oh, oh, I can't wait. How are you? How is it here for instruction? Just so I can help your friend. Thank you. 